Hello my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and I am here to do a love reading for Aquarius. Let's get the cards on the deck here and see what we have for you. Let's see what we have in store for Aquarius. Okay, so in the recent past, Five of Cups, Aquarius, why are you so sad? Ooh, there's not all is lost though. With the Five of Cups, we have three cups that have been lost to you, but you still have two cups in your possession, my friends. That is still optimistic in the recent past. The mutual energy between you and another person at the present time is the Ace of Wands. Ooh la la, lots of attraction. And that is a masculine love energy. Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups. Your person views you as a person with whom they would like to make a romantic overture. A big cup of love coming in is how they view it. They see you as the Knight of Pentacles, Aquarius. Look at that. Slow moving, but very much in charge of what you want to do. They see in their heart space the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is somebody who is not going to stick around for long. They're there to learn something. And we see the dissemination of all of the, the white fuzz on this dandelion. Uh, when it dies off. So what I'm seeing here is that you have someone who would love, 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 love to make an offer of love that may not be serious or long lasting. However, it might be. So we'll see. That's where they're at right now in their heart space though. It also looks like they could be getting over some lessons or they've learned their lessons about love and how to communicate better. So we'll see. What is the energy in your person's, um, how they view the situation with you, how they see themselves going forward with you is eat, drink, be merry, having fun once again. So we do have the nine of cup, the knight of cups, nine of cups, and the page of swords. So this might be someone that you meet on social media or it might be one of your Facebook friends, but it does show that this person is watching you. I don't think you've appeared on social media for a while because they seem to be a little bit lost. The death card is the energy between you and this person. So it is a card of transformation. Both of you are coming in as knights. Both of you have had recent losses. And what is spirit recommending at this time for this love relationship? Three of Wands, plan for the future. Go ahead and make some plans. Okay. What is the short-term outcome for this relationship? What is the short-term outcome for love for Aquarius? What is the short-term energy? There we go. Oh, nice. Aquarius, look at this. Very interesting energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers are. So let's see what we have in terms of the clarifiers for these cards. Five of Cups for you and someone else. So both of you. It looks like you're meeting somebody or you're with somebody who's gone through a lot of change and you've gone through a lot of change, but I don't think it's with each other. I feel as though you're both ending old relationships and coming out of them. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. Well, there, that's just what I said. I said I think both of you were in a very tumultuous situation in the past. And now we have the perfect storm gives you the courage to step into a new situation, a new relationship. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So what do we have here? We have this beautiful Ace of Wands. Ooh. Well, that is a very passionate card. Both of you have been tired of being sequestered. Okay, so let's see how you're going to feel about this. What's going on? What's a clarifier? Into me, I see. <laughs> well, so this card basically says that both of you are enjoying the fact that you're so attractive to one another. It's a little bit of a Leo energy, kind of like, look at me, I want attention. And I see that you're giving me attention and I see that 
I excite you or I attract you. So what do we have the Knight of Cups here for? Well, the Knight of Cups is a sacred contract. So maybe spirit puts you in the path of one another to heal. Me talks repent. Yes, exactly. This is a time in your lives where you're coming together with someone and it's about healing. It's about healing your heart, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. It is a sacred contract. So interesting. But it is about really healing yourselves, healing love, healing old wounds that you've received from other people in love. Why do they see you as this Virgo Knight of Pentacles? Which, ooh, wish upon a star. Look at this. This person has seen you from a distance. This person's been attracted to you for some time. Aquarius, look at that energy. So let's see what this means. Why is this person in the Page of Swords energy? Their wait is over is what I'm seeing here. Bearing fruit. <laughs> they have been waiting. They have been waiting for you to come through some sort of period of time in your life so that they could make an approach to you. And in the past, it looks as though they thought you weren't ready. They were studying you. They were about to give up. And then they're stepping through because you are a wish upon a star for them. How do they see the happiness? Where does this happiness go for the two of you? We have quieting the mind. Gorgeous. You know, it's really so nice when you're with somebody that really helps you sort of come within to do that exploration. Quieting your mind, feeling secure. This person wants you to feel really secure with them. The time machine. So I think that you've known this person a while. I feel as though they're going to tell you all kinds of information. Like, I remember when I first saw you. I remember when I first reacted to you. I remember when I first saw you in a dress. Or I think you might know this person through some sort of a public setting in which you are often involved, you know. Sometimes when we go to work, we're, it's not somebody we work with, but it could be somebody in a building that sees us. The death card. What is the death card here for? A higher view. Oh, royal you. This is mutual energy between you and your person. Both of you have really gone through it. And both of you are in this energy of really seeking spirit. Spirit is telling you that this death and rebirth process is about seeing yourself as royalty, seeing yourself with great self-worth, great confidence, seeing how special you are and how beautiful you are in the rest of the world. People look up to you and you have a higher view. You come into this energy as being very respected by the person who is seeking you and you also feel the same about them. Hidden energy. The Three of Wands. You are one another's ships that have arrived in, this, in the, in the uh, port. The Three of Wands is always about planning for the future. And Spirit is recommending that. Both of you are finally open. Spirit is saying, you know, plan for the future but you are broken open. So whatever the energy was from the past that transformed you, that made you feel closed off, gone, gone. You are reborn. You are whole. You are Phoenix rising from the ashes. And the Two of Cups is a bride and groom card or a grooming groom or a bride and bride. It is a beautiful card. And in the Rider Waite, it is the bride and groom who are saying their vows to each other in front of an angel. Let's see. Spirit of gratitude. Look at that. This is a time when you're going to feel so happy for everything that went in the past, for the old wounds, for the old hurts, for the old sadness. It's gone. It's gone. It's healed. Sky dancers, 
surrender. You are sky dancing. Aquarius, how beautiful. That is your love reading. You are going to have an exquisite new love coming in. Somebody that already knows you, Aquarius.